Hello everyone, welcome to DepEd Science TV. I am Teacher Al. We are off for another day of fun, learning and discovery. Yes, I am back and I'm joining you once again as you learn something new today. Are you ready kids? Today's episode is about differentiating a solute from a solvent. Most of the things we consume, like the air we breathe, what we drink, as well as the products we found in our household are examples of solution we encounter every day. What drinks do you usually prepare during breakfast? It could be coffee, milk, or chocolate powder mixed with hot water. Have you not wondered which of those substances does the dissolving or the substance that is being dissolved? Just like mixtures, solutions are common occurrence in our daily life. Before we proceed kids, please take note of these following questions. First, what is a solution? Second, what makes up a solution? And third, how can you differentiate a solute from a solvent? Now let's have a discussion of the important points of our topic for today. When one substance dissolves into another, a solution is formed. A solution is a homogeneous mixture consisting of a solute dissolved into solvent. So when we pour salt into water, we made what? We made a solution. A solution has two phases or parts. One is a solvent. It is a substance that does the dissolving or it is a substance used to dissolve a solute. It is of a larger amount. In a salt and water solution, what is a solvent? Water is the solvent. Water is known to be the universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any other. Another phase or part of a solution is the solute. It is a substance that is being dissolved and is of the smallest amount. Solutes that can be dissolved in a solvent are called soluble. The salt and sugar are example of soluble substances. However, there are also substances that cannot be dissolved in a given solvent. They are called insoluble. Just as we pour sand into water, sand is insoluble. Now kids, let's see how much you learn by classifying each substances as either solute or solvent. First, boca juice. Next, water. Then, sugar. How about coffee powder? And lastly, salt. Got it all correct? It's a wrap, kids. I hope you learned something new today. Once again, I am Teacher Rob. See you on the next episode. Bye!